Andrew Crazier's Charles throws him out of Buckingham Palace and gives his titles to Camilla. Prince Andrew, 62, will no longer be allowed to have an office in the building or to use the palace as a corresponding address. As a result, the few staff retained at Buckingham Palace after the Duke of York stepped down from frontline royal duties three years ago could now face redundancy. A source told The Sun, any presence at the palace is officially over. The king has made it clear. He isn't a working royal. He's on his own. The duke is said to have been recruiting for a new communications team in order to improve his damaged reputation and will now be expected to fund his own staff. It comes as the duke's treasured former role as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards was gifted to Queen Camilla. Andrew was stripped of a plethora of titles, including Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, in January when he was facing a U.S. civil action over sexual assault allegations. Buckingham Palace said in a statement at the time, with the Queen's approval and agreement, the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending this case as a private citizen. The 62-year-old later settled the civil lawsuit with Virginia Jufri and always denied any wrongdoing. According to The Sun earlier this month, the Home Office also stripped Andrew of his £3 million a year, 24-hour armed security. It is now expected that the royal household will pick up the dab. However, despite The Sun's report, the Duke of York has been invited to the traditional royal Christmas at Sandringham in Norfolk this year. Andrew's ex-wife Sarah Ferguson will also attend for the first time in 30 years. In his first ever Christmas Day address, King Charles is expected to pay tribute to his beloved late mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The now disgraced Prince Andrew has been dealt another blow after being told that his taxpayer-funded armed guards is set to be axed next month. The news comes as no surprise given the second son of the late Queen Elizabeth II was stripped of his titles and official duties in January as his relationship with criminal Jeffrey Epstein became publicized. In January, the 62-year-old was told to stop using the style His Royal Highness and all military titles and royal patronages were returned to the Queen. Months later, the former favorite of the monarch settled out of court with Epstein victim Virginia Roberts who accused him of sexual abuse, which now to love would like to note the former prince vehemently denied. According to insider sources, Andrew has written to the Home Office and the Met Police about losing his taxpayer-funded security. He is going to write to the Home Office and the Met Police to complain about losing his taxpayer-funded security, a source told The Sun. There are speculations that Andrew's unreasonable and unwarranted behavior may spark continual negative reactions from the general public as they struggle with an unprecedented crisis as bills skyrocket this winter. He doesn't seem to understand that he's in disgrace and people don't want to hear from him anymore, especially him with his begging bowl, Express UK reported on what a senior Labour MP said. Currently, the father of Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie is escorted by police guards whenever he leaves the grounds of Windsor. It is estimated that this costs the taxpayer up to £3 million per year. Security for the royal family is decided by the Royal and VIP Executive Committee whose membership includes the Home Office, the Metropolitan Police's Royalty Protection Command and Palace officials.